commemorating the death of Louis Braille a hundred years ago, a centenary exhibition featuring his great invention was visited by the Duke of Edinburgh. At the National Institute of the Blind in London, the Duke, in his opening speech, said, Today we commemorate the death 100 years ago of one of mankind's great benefactors, Louis Braille, whose invention of embossed type has given a new sense to blind people all over the world. And not the least to benefit is the seeing world, which can now draw upon the intellect of blind people in a surprising number of fields of human thought and endeavor. Braille has made the effort to conquer blindness an international crusade and thereby sown a potent seed of understanding and goodwill between nations. Then followed a tour of Armitage Hall, named after Dr. Thomas Armitage, who founded the Institute, which has done so much to conquer the former helplessness of sightless people with machines such as this. Today, from early childhood, the blind can master mathematics, learn to read music and enjoy literature through the genius of Louis Braille, who overcame his own affliction to show them the way. When the Duke paused by little Helen Starnes, she was anxious to guide his fingers over the almost magical dots which enable her to read like other children. I'll take the pit while you go and get the honey. Very well, said Crewe, and he stamped off. As soon as he got home, he went to the larder, and he stood on a chair and took down a very large jar of honey from the top shelf. Before leaving, the royal visitor saw the new printing machine at work, with plastic dots taking the place of the former indentations on Braille's script. Yet despite all that science can do, only the more fortunate of the seeing world can enjoy a film, and the Duke attended a gala premiere in aid of the National Playing Fields Association, of which he is president. Film executives and stars joined their royal guest on this London occasion to raise funds for a worthy cause which received so much support from the Duke of Edinburgh.